Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to our free online courses. And today I'll be showing you, showing you how to create corridor in Civil 3D. So first, what is corridor? Corridor is actually uh, a road or any element such as bridge, uh, re retaining wall, drainage, you can create, you can create according to alignment, according to alignment path. So if you see here, actually corridor, it show as a, uh, as a road, but actually corridor, you can create more than road. You can create bridge, you can create, uh, you can create retaining wall uh, uh, using corridor. So there is a few elements you need to do first before you create corridor. You need uh, to create alignment and profile view and also assembly before you create corridor. So this three element is very important before you creating a corridor. So I already have alignment here and also a profile view. So if you want to know how to create alignment and also how to create profile view, you can check our previous video in our YouTube channel to uh, know how to create alignment and also profile view. So the last thing that I need here is assemblies. Assemblies is actually what element you want in corridor. For example, I want to create a root, so I must have an uh, element that I need to add in my root is lane, uh, for example, lane, uh, curb, and also a walkway. So to do that, I need to create an uh, assembly. So you go to here at this Create Design tab, and then you click on this assembly dropdown, and then, and then you click on Create Assembly. So you click on this Create Assembly, and this is a setting for assembly. So I'm going to rename this assembly as root, root A, because I want to create a root for alignment A. And I click on OK. So now Civil3D wants us to specify where you want to put the assembly. So usually I will place my assembly near to the surface, so around here. So Civil3D will automatically zoom in for you once you click where you want to place the assembly. So if I zoom out, it's actually really tiny there, okay? So assembly is actually the center of the lane uh, of the corridor. So I want to add lane, I want to add uh, a curb, and for example, a walkway. So I need to open the two palettes. So to open two palettes, you go here to palette tab, and then you will find there is this symbol. It's actually two palettes. So uh, all the shortcut keys is control plus three. Okay. And then you click on this one. Then you will find this is the element that you can add in your assembly. So for now, I have an uh, option for basic one. So there's a basic lane, basic shoulder, curb, and so on. So if you want more advanced detail on the lane, you can choose the lane option here. And then there is selection you can use for the, la the lane itself. So for now, I'm going to use basic. So I just I want to uh, I want to show the example. Okay, so I'm using this basic lane. I just click on this basic lane, and then these properties for the lane will pop up. Okay, this one the properties here. So actually, you can change the width. So this is the default size of the lane that you will get if you click on the basic lane just now. And then this is the default uh, setting, default size. So for example, you want to change the width for the lane uh, to five meter, four meters. So you can do that by just click on the width here and change it according to your size. For example, I'm using four meter for the width and the depth, I just let it be 0 0.2 meter and then the slope I don't want my lane have slope and then just change it to zero so if I insert in my assembly so there will no slope uh, they will according to the setting here the assembly uh, the lane so I click on lane again uh, this one four sorry this 
one is four. Moment. Name. Oh, okay, never mind. I can change it later. So I place the lane at the center of my uh, assembly here. So you can just click on this. If I bring my cursor on this circle, on this uh, square there, so I just click on this one, and then that is my lane. So either you can change the setting for the lane before you adding the lane inside the set assembly, or you can change after after you insert in the assembly. So to change after, you click on the lane and then you go to assembly properties here. You go to parameter. Here also you can change the setting for the uh, lane. So I change it here. But just now I got issue, I cannot change. So I just click on apply. So it will change according to my setting. So next I continue to add curve, okay. So if you want to change the setting for the curve, you can also change it. So I don't want to change. I just going to use this default. So to place curve in the assembly, so you need to click on this circle at the cent at the corner of your lane. So if you click on down here, so your lane will be uh, on top of your curve. So I want it to line. I want I want everything in one line. So I just click like that. I click on the upper circle one. Okay, so my assembly, uh, sorry, my lane and my curve will be in one in one line, a line with a line. Okay, next I want to add sidewalk. For example, click on sidewalk, and here I click on this upper corner for the curve, like this. Okay, so this is the arrangement: lane, curve, and then I have my sidewalk. And lastly, I want to add is basic side slope cartridge. So this is where it will show you later on where you need to cut uh, for the surface and then where you need to fill according to the setting for the cut and slope here. Okay. So I'm not going to change anything. So if you want to change the ratio for the cut fill, uh, for the cut, for the fill, for the height, of your uh, cut and fill maximum, you can always change the setting here. Okay, so I just click on the upper corner of the sidewalk, so it will look like this. Okay, so this is actually I add for the right side. So this is for just for the right side. So how you add for the left side? So if you click. If you finish here and then you add on corridor, so you will have only the left side or only the right side of your root. You don't have the other side. So to create other the other side, you can either uh, repeat the step I, I showed just now, or if the right side and the left side are the same element, we have a lane, curve, and walkway, same as the left side, as the right side. So you can just mirror it. So you select everything select every element on the right side so you cannot use the basic mirror in AutoCAD like uh, you click on M, uh, MI and then you mirror it um, using you using shortcut to mirror it you cannot use that because that one is for AutoCAD so for civil 3D for assembly we have the special mirror only for assembly so you need to do you need to use this mirror to mirror it okay so you use, you click on mirror, and then you click on the center of the assembly here. And then there you go. You get the left side of your element. Okay, so after you're done with assembly, now you can create the corridor. So I close on these two palettes. I zoom out. So according to, to this alignment, I want to create a, a route. Okay, I want to construct a route. So I go to here, the corridor, drop down, and click on corridor. And then, and then this is the setting on how you want to create the corridor. So maybe I change the name here to root A. And then this is where uh, the importance of alignment and profile, just now I, I said, you need to create alignment and profile because uh, you need to uh, choose the baseline type here. 
So for me, I'm using alignment and profile. So that's why you need to create the profile and alignment first before you creating the uh, corridor. And then for the alignment here, uh, for my project, I have two alignments. So there will be CLRD and also root A. So I'm using alignment for root A. And then prof for profile, I'm going to use the purpose design root A. This is where I want it to create. I want to create from the purpose, not from the existing ground. And then assembly, I'm just using the one that I create just now. And lastly, you need to insert the target surface where the cut and slope, uh, cut and fill slope uh, will generate according to what surface. So I click on EG surface. So it will calculate the cut and fill uh, according to the EG surface. And I click on OK. So this is the uh, uh, repetition setting for the assembly. So if you can see here is frequency. So every 20 meter, it will repeat my, cor uh, my assembly okay, for the corridor. So if you want, for example, you want it's uh, the, the, the repetition is uh, larger, okay, the value is larger, you just click on that box there, and then you change the two meter there to whatever value you want. Uh, every 10 meter uh, repetition of your corridor, uh, a repetition of your assembly, every 10 meter, 50 meter, you can change here, okay? And then click apply. So click on rebuild corridor. Okay, and then I click on OK first, and I click on this one. So that is my or my route. Okay, so if I change to object viewer here, so you can see. Okay, you zoom in. So that is the lane, uh, the curb, the roadway, and also this is where you need to cut, then where you need to fill. Okay. So that's it. That is how you create a corridor in the Civil 3D. So you not only can create a, a road, and you can also uh, use this method to create a retaining wall, bridge, and so on. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for joining me today. So see you on our next pre-online courses. Thank you. Bye-bye.